Hey guys, Matt out here for Resourced Rails, uh, coming to you from a little bit different perspective on today's uh, Workbench Wednesday. As you can see, we're sitting here at our bench uh, and uh, we've got a uh, articulated model uh, that's currently in process uh, for uh, restoration for us here. Uh, we're not going to talk about that one. I want to focus a little bit on um, some of the new brass projects, exciting new brass projects coming to you. So uh, we're officially kicking off our, our monthly uh, edition of new brass updates on our Workbench Wednesday, and you'll be able to find this on uh, Moving forward, we'll touch on some of the uh, projects that are in process and the information and updates you're getting from the dealers. So let's jump right into it. First project we're going to touch on is the Division Point Cab Forward project. Uh, as we mentioned uh, in our posts on our Facebook page, uh, those models are uh, in transit now from Korea up to uh, the uh, uh, inspection folks up there at ELS Train Services, Dennis Barthelow, a great friend of ours as well. Um, he's going to take a look at those models and uh, inspect them, make sure they're in good shape, and then they will be sent out to uh, customers, not only mine and his, but every other dealer's out there. Um, so those of you that ordered one of those, uh, and unfortunately we were only able to get one, exactly one for our shop here as well, as we got in pretty late on the reservation system there for that, uh, or excuse me, reservation timeline for that model. So those of you that did order the those cab forwards. Uh, those have been coming for many, many, many weeks and months now, uh, as we've been told. But the good news is that they are indeed in transit here in the States. Uh, once they are tested, they should go out. Uh, and the initial photos that we've seen in the presentation box and the video of the locomotives uh, uh, as they've been testing them with DCC and Sound in Korea over there uh, in the folks at Buren Precision uh, have produced a wonderful model and a very unique model. Um, these are very, very low quantity imports, less than 100 here of these versions uh, of these locomotives, so certain to be collector's items. Keeping on the path of Division Point, uh, as we mentioned uh, on Tuesday, uh, August 10th there on our on our posts on Facebook, the uh, Union Pacific Coal Turbine Number 80 project is moving forward. It is under uh, in progress right now and under construction, so to speak. Etchings uh, and detail casting parts are, are in production from that. Uh, and Jack let me know about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, we were fortunate enough to share some photos uh, that Mr. Bartholo and uh, his team at ELS uh, Train Services there as well were, were providing. So thank you for allowing us to do that as well. Um, so those are, uh, there are two of those left in the world right now that are not spoken for, two of a very limited production run model. Uh, these will uh, certainly be one of the most premier, uh, if you can call it, steam locomotives out there. Uh, but the steam uh, Colt Turbine locomotive number 80 by Union Pacific is still available from the division point. Uh, we don't have them on our website right now, but if you would like to reserve one of them, please reach out to us via the website, via Facebook, or via email, sales at resourced with a D, rails. Dot com to go ahead and reserve one of those two left as of this video that's not to say that they won't disappear quickly so please get your reservation in if you would still want one of those if you think you missed out on one of those you still have a chance through us uh, keeping with the division point here the other project that we're reserving up really nicely is their baldwin articulated longing locomotives and these are the 2662 series locomotives uh, primarily 2662t tank locomotives um, there are 14 or 15 different varieties of that model that are available for reservation right now, including a uh, auxiliary water car uh, for all of your logging operation needs, a high walkway tank car um, that uh, that is available in that project as well. So we've got locomotives and one piece of rolling stock in that as well. Um, reservations are really strong on those. Uh, we are happy to be open over the double digits on those models uh, insofar as reservations is concerned with the division point. And uh, Jack did let me know that uh, they are about two thirds of the way there on the required reservations to move this project forward. So guys, we are really close on that. If you have any desire around those 2662 Baldwin logging mallies, please reach out to us and place your reservation now. Don't wait. Uh, the way models are built these days, as we all know, there are no excess quantities of the models that are brought in. So if you've got one reserved, you will get yours. But if you don't have one reserved, the chances of you getting one, especially the one you want, are slim to know these days. So again, those are up uh, for reservation on our website as well. That wraps up our, our updates from the Division Point here for August. Uh, many other Division Point projects in process as well, and and uh, we've got a few of those on our website right now. But we're going to move on to move on to another importer right now as well. Let's talk about uh, the Coach Yard and their projects in process right now. 
uh, Mr. Hill and, and, and David over there in, in the coach yard have uh, just announced as of Monday, August 9th, a new project, uh, a new Southern Pacific train and some very unique Southern Pacific cars uh, that, that we're seeing for pre-order reservation now. And those are on our website as well. Let's touch on the first train set. Uh, and I'm going to pull up uh, pull up their website and our website here so we get a good idea of exactly uh, what we have uh, for reservation. Uh, the first is the two-tone gray Del Monte train set. Uh, and this is a five-car uh, train set that is available uh, that represents the train that operated uh, from San Francisco and the Monterey Peninsula uh, in 19, uh, we'll say the mid-1950s. Uh, these cars are offered in the two-tone gray scheme for the Southern Pacific, and you've got RPOs, uh, you've got uh, chair cars, uh, and there's a news agent coach and a lounge as well. This is an entire train set, really unique five-car train set. Of course, with every coach yard release, uh, we have wonderful additional cars that are going to be available as well. Um, so we're going to see some commute coaches here as well uh, in two-tone gray and solid gray. So those of you that model the uh, Peninsula Commute Service out there uh, in Southern Pacific land, myself included, I'm a bit of an SP nut. Uh, this is your opportunity to get those commute cars uh, on your roster in gray, solid gray, and two-tone gray as well. Very unique offering here. Let's scroll through the rest of the uh, dark olive livery offering. So these will be our, our classic lettered Southern Pacific, large, bold Southern Pacific, and the letter board in the dark olive colors. Uh, we've got an RPO car. We've got a clustery roof uh, ex uh, El Paso and Southwestern coach that's being uh, offered here as well. Those news agent coaches, as we mentioned before, are going to be available in dark olive. Uh, and the snack lounge parlor service, the Oliver Millet, M-I-L-L-E-T, uh, is going to be offered as well with this car. It's a very unique lounge car that operated with this uh, with this train. So those coaches uh, are going to be available from the uh, coach yard here, that entire SP train set. Um, they just announced those for reservations. So please, 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 if you are interested in that train set, jump on our website, check out our photos, look at our pre-order reservation process, free shipping with all uh, brand new brass out there as well, free domestic shipping. So that's one of the perks that we offer on any new brass reservation. Let's transition into the next coach yard announcement uh, from Monday, uh, August 8th here, uh, and that is the Southern Pacific Rebuilt Business Cars. Uh, these cars uh, on their first and previous runs from numerous importers, we're going way back to uh, other importers as well here, have always been very popular, uh, and I will not name them all. However, we've got a lot of great car names that you're going to recommend. We've got the, uh, excuse me, that you're going to recognize here in various paint schemes. Uh, we've got the San Jose, the Pine Bluff, the Shasta, the Oregon, the Del Monte, the Salt Lake, the Sacramento, and the Santa Barbara. All of those uh, official cars for the Southern Pacific, those rear end cars that the officials used, are uh, in this offering from the coach yard. Now, of course, like anything else, if reservations don't materialize, sometimes some of these part numbers might get dropped. So if you have any interest in those, uh, whether it be in two-tone gray, the dark olive, or the uh, silver with the red letter board on it there, um, all of those screen uh, schemes are being offered with this release. Uh, plenty of great photos on the website there as well. Uh, guys, if you're an SP modeler right now, uh, we're in a little bit of hog heaven between the Del Monte train set just announced, between the official business cars here, the rebuilt cars just announced by Coach Yard, the uh, Lark train set that's uh, announced and up for reservations, as well as the Overland Limited train sets. Um, you've got all of the head-end equipment that is almost impossible to find right now, uh, very well represented in those releases. So. If you're an SP guy and you haven't gotten that head and equipment that you're looking for, or those business cars, that's a big one for me, those business cars that you weren't able to secure in previous runs, now is your chance to do so. Jump on the website, place that reservation now. Moving into the other importer that we'd love to highlight here, the North Bank line. Uh, they have their 2020 uh, business car project, which is going to be uh, uh, their first business car project available later in 2021 here, later this year. Uh, and that project, uh, Mr. Austin uh, sent out a great update to his dealers, uh, of which we posted that on our Facebook page and shared the photos of three production sample cars uh, coming out of Boo Room Precision. Those will be Boo Room Precision cars built as well. Um, so those cars are all sold out with the North Bank line, but we have one, exactly one, available for guaranteed reservation and delivery on our website, and that is the CB&Q number 100. So if you're a Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy fan, or just a heavyweight observation uh, and business car fan, uh, that's a great car to add to your roster. That one is guaranteed. 
Uh, reservations uh, as well as demand for these cars post-reservation have been very strong. Uh, we have been placing numerous standby reservations uh, with Mr. Austin in the North Bank line uh, for many of those cars, uh, some of the Union Pacific variety, uh, some of the Western Pacific variety. Uh, we've got numerous cars on uh, what we're going to call a standby reservation. Now, standby reservations work like this. The sooner you get it to me and the sooner I get it to Ed over there at North Bank line, the greater the chances we have of getting a hold of some of those cars that other dealers don't want or that maybe have been overrun production uh, quantities over there at Brewer and Precision uh, that are not earmarked for guaranteed reservation. Uh, Mr. Austin has let us know that he will be taking uh, any overrun cars as well as the pilot sample models um, from this production run. So. Guys and gals, again, if you have any desire to own any one of those cars, jump on our website, take a look at what we've got offered, email us, send us a message via Facebook, get that standby reservation in. It does not guarantee that you're going to get one, but it certainly increases your chances from zero of ever getting one. So uh, with that too on the North Bank line, again, those cars are slated right now for late Q3, early Q4 2021 delivery. So stay tuned to our website uh, as well as our Facebook page for updates on those cars. Um, Without carrying on too much further, I want to tease the next series of uh, North Bank line business cars or official cars that uh, have been offered, um, or I should say are, are considering for offer right now. Uh, with that most recent update, uh, Ed Austin over there at North Bank line sent out kind of a feeler for some other potential cars, uh, and one of which is very near and dear to, to us here as, as myself. Uh, I've been actively involved in the research project for this car, uh, and that is the presidential car, or U.S. Navy One, USN One, the Ferdinand Magellan. Uh, and this exclusive, arguably the most premier business car in the world, uh, is being considered for the next run of business cars from uh, the North Bank line. Uh, demand for this car has been really strong, and initial responses have been very good uh, from people simply messaging us and saying, yes, please put me down for one of those as a reservation. So um, I would encourage you to reach out to uh, Mr. Austin as well, or reach out to us. Uh, and, and give us your feedback on what you think for any other business cars. Uh, if you and 10 of your best friends out there uh, would like to see a car produced and you think there's demand for it, uh, please let us know. I'll be happy to relay that information uh, to any one of the importers out there. Uh, so that said, that's our North Bank line update uh, for August of 2021. So guys, just kind of on a general high note here, again, I want to thank you all as my customers. I hope this video has been helpful. We will continue these updates on a monthly basis, uh, and we'll even start to share with you some of our unique uh, pre-owned brass that uh, comes through uh, our shop as well, as we have a little bit more time to do so in the future. We really wanted to highlight the new importers this, uh, this month and, and give them their due. The new brass market is still very strong, uh, not nearly as strong as it was 20 or 30 years ago, long before I was a, a dealer or even a player in this hobby, uh, but there's still a good amount of interest in new brass. So please support us. Give us those pre-order reservations to secure these projects. If you think you might want it someday in your collection, secure it now. Once again, I'm Matthew Dowd, the founder here at Resource Rails. Thanks for your time, everyone, and happy railroading.